Good afternoon, this is Rich Nelson with uh, the Grapp Up Commodity Comments. Today is Wednesday, November 23rd here of uh, 2011 here. Obviously, uh, going to be a low-volume day to speak of here. And as Paul Georgie mentioned this morning, uh, we are, of course, looking at outside markets as running the show here. In fact, throughout the day, the U.S. dollar continued to move higher throughout the uh, trading session. Last trade on the U.S. dollar is up 91 points and uh, that also has crude down about uh, $1.87 eighty-seven here. Looking across at uh, at all commodity quotes here this morning, obviously most of the quotes here are in the red. This is true for grains, energies, and and uh, most of the softs and and metals as well here. So certainly bearish influence uh, given on top of grains from these outside market issues here that Paul also mentioned here earlier this morning. Corn down about ten and a half cents, and now looks like. We're actually maybe within that striking distance of the last previous spike low from back in September, 572 and a quarter. That's going to be a point to watch here on the corn. Soybeans down 30 cents right now. Keep in mind, of all things, uh, soybeans are actually near our objectives we uh, released a few weeks, a few weeks ago. So uh, actually interesting to see that this soybean market may actually be getting near value here at this point here. Over on the wheat, down about 15 cents here. As far as brand new news that happened throughout the trading session, not a whole lot to speak of. We can point out that Israel purchased about 100,000 tons of, uh, and this is between corn, uh, wheat, as well as barley. And uh, the thought is, well, they probably didn't get this done here from the U.S. They are thinking that it all probably came from Ukraine. So, so far at least, we still have this continuing story of, you know, we're probably a little overpriced U.S. grains compared to the rest of the world here. So that story continued here with this news regarding the Israel issue here. Uh, keep in mind, we will get weekly export sales. Those are normally out Thursday morning. That will be delayed until Friday morning, obviously due to tomorrow's holiday. So as far as this goes, uh, we do have this export sales report out uh, tomorrow morning, or say uh, Friday morning, and that may be a driver here. So far we've had two very rough weeks of corn sales. The trade just wants to see any reason at all to see uh, to suggest that this corn export sale market is not as bad as the last couple of weeks. So let's see what Friday morning's report goes uh, uh, says here. Uh, as far as things to keep in mind, uh, also point out we do have a, a, a shortened trading session here going to be Friday afternoon for grains with a noon time closing. Over on uh, over on livestock, keep in mind Friday session will be shortened as well, looking at 12:15 for livestock uh, due to the holiday uh, tra uh, trading session here. Over on livestock, kind of a mixed affair today. We did see cattle finish down about 55 here on the futures. This came even though we had higher trade on cash cattle markets. We did see cash cattle start to trade for the week, as we usually get this all wrapped up before Thanksgiving in most of the years. Uh, we did see uh, Nebraska and, and both, uh, in fact, the Central and Southern Plains trading up a dollar. In Nebraska, that's 124. Since we are seeing Kansas through Texas trade cattle at a discount, their prices were 123 and 124. So as far as this goes, we did see a, a slight bounce here in cash cattle. Okay, keep in mind, this might be related more due to uh, the, the uh, holiday. People want to get some business done and go home here for the week rather than any brand new bullish news on cattle. Keep in mind as far as cattle, the trade is still expecting to see cash cattle drop over the next three to four weeks. So that's something to keep in mind here as well. As far as uh, cattle, or I, I should mention as far as hogs, up 35 cents here today. Very quiet session as expected here. One thing to point out, uh, though, is this was the highest close for the December hog contract uh, that we've had for this little two-week upturn we're in. We are currently in, so highest close for the D's contract of this current uptrend. Uh, and seasonally, we do usually have some seasonals, which the trade is looking at right now. Those seasonals are uh, usually a bottom in cash hogs at the last half of uh, of November and a rally for. Uh, going into the second week or so of December. Keep in mind, this rally usually does not hold. Usually we have about one more two-week dip in front of us in the last half of December. So we will point out seasonally this market may remain strong for the next, uh, next couple weeks uh, and then see a slight decline here uh, going towards the end of the year. But overall, certainly a rough day as far as grains. Uh, still knocking on the psychology from the outside markets being key issues. Uh, we will have some turning points here coming up. Hopefully, we'll be watching for any news on possible getting this, uh, uh, on getting the EU situation worked out. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some better economic numbers here on the U.S. side. And third thing, you know what? Mo probably the most reliable is we may see a change in these export sales numbers 
due to these lower prices. And that could come as early as Friday morning. So certainly on this end, keep on top of Allendale's research. Uh, keep in contact with the Allendale broker. We may have some change in direction here, uh, possibly as early as tomorrow, as Friday. So hopefully we'll get that uh, that uh, that done here. But of course, we're looking more more ahead at holiday plans, uh, getting travel plans locked up, and those type of issues here, just like the rest of the trade is. So no trade tomorrow. We certainly want to wish you a very happy uh, Thanksgiving here. Hope all of your plans with your family are are safe and happy and fun, and that you're traveling throughout the different areas in the U.S. Uh, certainly goes by without a hitch. So hopefully things go well, and we certainly look forward to better news as we uh, come out the second half on the uh, on the back end of this Thanksgiving holiday here. So hopefully you'll have new news. In terms of things to note, we will not be updating our research product. Uh, I Friday here, just want to confirm with Greg McBride, we will not be re updating our research, but we will have brokers here in the office Friday all the way through the trading session. That's noon on grains and 12.15 for livestock. If you have any questions, give us a call here at Allendale, 1-800-262-7538. This is Rich Nelson. Have a good trading day and a good trading week.